They need their rookie right in as the challenger in the red trunks from England. Davy Green at 147, 5 feet 8 inches tall. The champion, first title of defense in white. Sugar Ray Leonard using all the ring now. There was that overhand right, way off target, thrown by the challenger. Angelo Dundee, Leonard's manager, gave him some strategy advice between rounds. A little bit more up, upright, backing away, counter punching a little more. That's what he'd like to do. But this plotter in the red trunks sometimes can change the plan. There's a little left jab that hits the chin of Green. <laughs> Look at the speed of those combinations. But Green won't give up. He'll keep moving forward. A walk-in slugger. Partially blocked body punch. This is round three, 10-point must WBC championship. We gave the first round to Leonard. We called the second round a draw. Green's jab found the mark. Leonard snapping away. One of the right-hand leaders, he had him coming in. Missed it. Arthur McConaughey. Capital Center Arena, right near the home of Sugar Ray Leonard. His apartment in New Carrollton, Maryland. His six-year-old son is here. His wife, Juanita, his mother and father, his brothers. And the challenger in red, bobbing and weaving now, slowing down the pace a little bit, trying to land the left hook. Brought his brother, his only brother, and his mother and father from England to see the bout. Beautiful defense by Sugar Ray, snapping away from punches and launching his own attack here in the third round. Don't forget from Las Vegas later, Larry Holmes, the champion, defending his title against Leroy Jones at 254 and a half. Howard is out there. That'll follow this bout. Quick, quick combinations, scoring points. The bell will end round three in 10 seconds. Champion. Given advice by Angelo Dundee this time, move in, get him standing still, and nail it. Well, let's see if he can do that against the challenger from England, Davy Green, and red on the right. He is a tough looking. The bell ending round three, he just stood there and sneered at Sugar Ray. Those punches picked off of the gloves of Sugar Ray. He's becoming a very complete fighter. Good fighter, he wants to be a great one. He is yet to have his chin tested. His 27th fight. That was caught on the glove, and the audience here couldn't see it. That was blocked by the right hand of the challenger. Two minutes left in the fourth round combinations. Believe me, that'll keep you off balance. What Sugar Ray would like to do is to get Dave Green backing up. But this man just keeps moving forward. punches, no damage, neither fighter marked at this moment. Figueroa looked a little confused there as he got into that clinch, but covered up, no damage. Good left to the chin. Menace in round four. Now you see a little shorter range punching by the champion in white. Oh, a right hand, most 
fighters would have gone down. Push on the chin of the challenger. Combinations, oh, and so, so long, Timber. What a series of punches. He is down the count, and it is over. Davey Boy Green is out. Shades of Knoxville, Tennessee, and John Tate. This came at about 33 seconds of round four. That is the way to win a first title defense. The replay. Look at this. Set him up with three punches and then the puncher. Watch it again. There's a right hand lead followed by a left hook and that would just knock the head off of most people and it knocked the 26 year -old. Another beautiful angle by our ABC crew. They're great. If you just join us, 227 of the fourth round and the left hook. All right. Another left hook and snap. Most microphones were good fighters, but if 